Stealth in Starfield is not like Skyrim or Fallout. It's not as powerful, so you can't act like a ghost in the midst of your foes, but there are things you can do to maintain a stealth build in Starfield. This guide doesn't involve any mods and goes over what skills, equipment, tactics and weapons you should prioritise if you want to make stealth work for you in Starfield, so let's get on with it. Here is how to make your own approximation of the stealth archer in Starfield. The best way to think of stealth in Starfield is like this. Stealth is the amount of sound you make, whereas concealment is how easy you are to see. This isn't stealth like in Skyrim or even Fallout. It takes a lot more to make it work the way you want it to. For a start, you'll want to rank up both stealth and concealment. Having one or the other doesn't really do much. They ideally need to be combined together to work. Concealment makes sprinting while crouched undetectable, camouflages you when you stand completely still, and makes enemies in the distance lose sight of you if you crouch. You can get a chameleon helmet early on that makes you invisible while standing still, but having this is a general perk if you upgrade concealment, rather than being linked to a bit of equipment, and that has its own obvious merits. When you're ranking up stealth, a quick way to fulfil the challenges that you'll need to do to get to the next level is having a gun with burst fire and a suppressor. Firing with burst fire means that you get multiple sneak attacks in one, essentially, as each of those bullets fired in the same second counts as their own sneak attack. Meaning, instead of one sneak attack, you get to tick off two or three. By level 9, I was on rank 3 of stealth by focusing on the challenges, and just know that abandoned locations will provide you with spacer, pirate, or zealot fodder to use for those challenges. One thing to note is concealment is the top level in the physical skills, so it's going to take you a while to get to the point where you can even unlock the first tier. But trust me, if you want to make the stealth archer of your dreams in Starfield, then it's worth the wait. The easier but simultaneously riskier route to level up your stealth has you taking advantage of NPCs. You can level up sneak really easily by sneak attacking the poor doctor in Medical Reliant, found in New Atlantis. As long as you sneak attack him from behind and make sure you're hidden and you don't get caught, you won't have any bounty put on your head. He seems to just fast travel right Build back to the room you here. shot him in, so sick, make sure to take advantage of this. Assist. It's no bucket on the head, but it'll do. Equipment is incredibly important when it comes to making stealth actually work in Starfield. First off, you'll want to equip at least one piece of armour that has the chameleon feature, which means you turn invisible when staying still. I recommend going to Neon as soon as possible to get the operative suit from the Ryujin questline. All you need to do is find one of their kiosks and put in a job application, and then follow the prompts to do the rest. Now, I've read conflicting bits of information about this, so based on that and my own experiences, I'm going to advise you that, unless you absolutely have to, don't wear spacesuits when you're sneaking, unless they're absolutely necessary for, like, breathing and all of that. Armour weight affects how much noise you make and therefore how close you can get to enemies, and how successful your sneaking is. Also, toggle always run off because moving faster will make more noise. Boost packs are generally fine to keep on, it looks like, as are your underclothes, and these can both have stealth attributes like the chameleon ability, so keep an eye out for those when you're looting. Rank 5 concealment will alleviate the amount of noise you make from moving with your spacesuit and armour on, but until you get there, and it will take a while, stick to the basics. Recon stim will help too, as it reduces the noise made from movement by 30% for 10 minutes, which can be just what you need to get past one irritatingly alert enemy. Get rid of any lasers on your weapons, as I've read that enemies will see them and get suspicious, 
but I infiltrated this base with laser sights and it didn't really seem to make much difference. You can always trace lasers on turrets back to them, but the enemies don't really seem to do that themselves. Let me know in the comments below if you've had experiences that differ from this, because I'm interested to know. If you have maxed out stealth, your weapons should really have suppressors, as that extra damage is not to be sniffed at, and to be honest, suppressors are fairly easy to come by in abandoned bases or research posts. Later on, you get a void form ability, I won't say how, and this is obviously very useful for stealthing in Starfield, as it turns you, quote, nearly invisible for a duration, unquote. Very specific, Starfield, thank you. But yes, it is very important for remaining unseen and unheard. Your approach when stealthing is important, and by this I mean instead of just focusing on your equipment, you should also focus on how you strategize stealth. One of the most important things is like with dogmeat and mines in Fallout 4, companions in Starfield break stealth so quickly. As soon as you're noticed by an enemy, instead of following your lead of staying quiet and finding a new hiding place, companions just go ham and start shooting. Not ideal. Either have them wait by your ship or just don't have them at all. Having the perk that gets you bonuses if you travel alone is best for a stealth build for that reason. And this might sound obvious, but it's easy to overlook if you're used to Skyrim sneaking. Stick to the shadows, don't dive into floodlit areas, and always try to find an alternative entrance to walking in the front door. Lockpicking goes hand in hand with stealth, so I'm just going to drop a lockpicking approach that really helped me out. Instead of looking at the digipick itself, look at the shapes to the right. It's so easy to get confused with all the notches when they're lumped together, but breaking down the digipick options into shapes and seeing if they fit in that way, rather than focusing on the left hand side first, has really helped me hack locks quickly. What it comes down to with stealthing and sneaking is that you cannot stand in front of enemies and shoot them in the knee without seeing you, like you can in other Bethesda games. Stealthing in Starfield lends itself to finding a sniper's nest and picking off enemies from afar, rather than getting up close and personal, which I personally think is evidenced by the fact that you get bonuses to suppressed weapons when ranking up stealth, yet there's no bonus for melee attacks. So, if you like to nothing personal it kid enemies with the dagger, then that's not really going to happen in Starfield. I mean, it'll happen, but you just won't get any perks for doing so. As I mentioned earlier in the video, firing multiple shots off quickly with a high fire rate weapon is key, as those rapid bursts of bullets will count as stealth hits, and so deal double damage each. This is only applicable to the highest fire rate weapons, however. Leaving more than half a second to a second between a shot will get rid of the stealth damage as, by then, the enemy will have moved into caution status. Enemies in Starfield are dumb. Their AI isn't great, they won't come to investigate noises as I found out after trying to lure some pirates to come out of a door I was staking out. It's really frustrating. You have to have a lot of patience to do stealth properly, as you're going to be doing a lot of waiting around for those caution bars to go back down to hidden. Your enemies also don't investigate last known positions, but they will put covering fire down on areas where they think your stealth shots have come from. It seems that on planets without atmosphere, enemies don't react to the sound of nearby gunshots or combat unless they see it happening. The lack of atmosphere means that the planet is open to the vacuum of outer space, which has no air as we know it. As sound is just vibrating air, these sounds of gunshots or combat have no air to vibrate and therefore produce no sound. However, you can be seen by guards when you're interacting with doors regardless of the atmosphere, unless you've ranked stealth up to max. Consequently, if you open a door by an enemy, they will automatically detect you, no matter how hidden slash invisible you actually are. The red and white health bars are never explained in the early tutorials of Starfield, so as you'll come across them when you're stealthing, allow me to clear it up for you. When you're fighting an enemy with both health bars, 
Reducing the white bar to zero will remove one of the segments from the red health bar. Then the white bar is refilled and you repeat the process. It denotes an elite enemy that has more health than normal foes and requires more sustained damage to kill. And there you go. Those are the tips I have for you if you're committed to making stealth work in Starfield. It is tricky and it does take effort, but there is a way to make your stealth archer build effective. It just won't be as flawless as in other Bethesda titles. Do you have any other stealth tips for Starfield? I'd love to hear any and all of them in the comments, and you can tag me directly on Twitter or Blue Sky at Zoe underscore Dells. If you've made it this far, thanks so much for watching, and make sure you subscribe to Eurogamer, and like this video for more videos from yours truly, Zoe Dillahunty Light, as we have a new video out almost every single day. Now, I'm going to go and organise my plushie collection in Starfield, so I'll see you folks next time.